Hello, welcome to Flower Chase. My name's John McDonald, and today we've got a video with a difference because we're in lockdown. I'm afraid you've just got me. So not only am I doing the flowers, but I'm also in charge of the cameras, uh, and we'll see what happens. So today I wanted to do an arrangement really just uh, with what I have. So I've had a look around the garden, and I've really got beautiful white lilac, we've got aquilegia, we've got some beautiful irises. So I'm just wanting to make an arrangement for my own home, for my own enjoyment, with stuff that I already have. So the other thing that I want to do is I want to use chicken wire. So there's been a lot of talk about using floral foam and how bad it is. Um, I mean, commercially, it's, it's, it's a really good choice, but for at home, then actually looking at other alternatives is a really good idea. So chicken wire is a really old fashioned uh, material that people used to use. And the great thing about it is you can use it again and again. The only thing I would say is you need to definitely use wire snippers for your chicken wire. And when you cut it, you're going to find that you give yourself a little, or give the wire little uh, bits that could really skew you. So you're probably better using gloves. Now the other thing as well is that cut edge I would tend to roll in so that it's also getting it out of the way. And we're really wanting to just create a structure that fits the container that we're going to use. And the container that I've got is actually this crock pot. Now we've had a lot of use out of this uh, over the years and unfortunately it had a little bit of an accident, so um, it's now going to get used for something totally different. So I want to carefully bend this. And I also want the wire to go down to the base. So we've actually got layers of wire. We don't want just chicken wire at the top and nothing at the bottom because then the stems have really got nowhere to go to give them that support. You need support at different levels for it to really work. Now this is wedging in here beautifully, which I'm really glad about, but what you can do if you find that that isn't sitting in a container is you can actually use some tape. So just like a florist tape, you can go through the wire, round your container, and this is just giving you some added security. Now you want to put it ideally in a way that's not going to be seen particularly. You don't really want to see this tape. Uh, you could also use another piece of wire. So again, that would be more environmental uh, and you could probably reuse it as well. Just be careful with your containers. I mean, obviously this one's been broken. Um, it's not so precious. I do like the shape, but I'd rather use it and uh, then it sit or just go in the bin. So that is giving that lots of security and we've created a structure that we can, we can work our flowers into. So what we need now is we need some water. And I'm going to fill this right up, really. And then we can start. So, I prefer to use a knife, so it's better if you have a knife. And what I want to do is I want to just see which way I want. So because of this damage, I want that to be at the back. Um, so really, we can just start working our stuff. So this was materials I just had in the garden. And what I did was I went out this morning and cut them and uh, they've had a good drink. This is actually some cherry. And this was just growing really in our hedge, actually. And 
also some sycamore, which I just think this is beautiful. Now, this is still quite soft growth, so I'm not sure how it's going to do. It's had a good drink, it's going into water, which essentially means it's still getting a good drink, and we can just keep an eye on it. But I thought this gives us quite a nice volume as well. So I'm creating a little bit of line with this periwinkle and then we're going to create quite a low mass of foliage that we can then work our flowers into. So another place where the foliage is going to be is actually on the flowers itself. Now <laughs> I've got one peony. All my peonies are starting to come but they're not quite there yet. So this one, I'm just cutting it down and we can just work that in. So just don't push too hard, just kind of like see where the stems are going, let them find their way. And we're wanting to create some different levels, so we'll get some volume into here as well. Now, seeing that I'm at the back, I'm just going to put a little bit of foliage to the back. So lockdown for flower juice hasn't really been a big issue because we did have a little uh, backlog of videos that we made. But now we're at the stage where we need to make some videos and we're both in different places. So this is not so good. But if people can learn floristry, I can learn how to do some videoing. So, right, we've created a bit of a basic structure. I know we've got gaps, but I'm pretty sure with our lilac that we're going to fill these gaps. Isn't this gorgeous? I actually was using some last week and I was thinking, oh, it's nice. It's just got better and better. It's just looking amazing. And of course, Lyle actually prefers to be in water. Um, it's one of those flowers that can be a little bit tricky. It likes to have a drink. It likes to have a good condition before you actually start as well. And of course, we could use the foliage from the lilac as well. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? And the great thing with this pot is it's nice and heavy. And that wire is giving me plenty of support. Just looking. But we're starting to create a bit of a design this way. I mean, the thing with the wire is it's not, it's not as good as floral foam. Um, you will end up with things sitting at a slightly different angle maybe to what you want. But that's okay. It's a case of having to work with it, just plan on it and uh, see how this goes. So we've created a bit of a mass in our centre and I've got this beautiful aquilegia. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the aquilegia to give us some height and some lightness in our design. Again, this just slips in perfect, says I. When I was cutting these this morning, I felt sorry because the bees were really enjoying the flowers and uh, I felt a little bit rotten stealing their flowers, but I think it would be nice to enjoy them as well. And there's a lot more out there, so they weren't my food now. So what I'm doing is I've started up the top, I'm bringing into the middle and lower down and just the way you cut it as well, like I cut the top of that for the short piece. This is giving us a leg with a flower that we can use in itself. 
So that's giving us a little bit more height on that stem. This material here is uh, cornice or dogwood, and um, I had it in a bucket trying to get it to root. And it is actually getting there, but every now and again I take it out and I use it for something floral. So it's probably getting annoyed at me. And these were the stars of the show. These were the things I were actually waiting on to uh, come into flower. And these are these beautiful flag iris. I've got some nice yellow ones just about to flower as well. So really what we're creating is quite classic garden um, celebration of spring and spring flowers and growth. The good thing about the, the wire is that we can, and with fixing it as well, we can easily do a water change, which is quite important. If you've got this volume of flowers, they're obviously happier in water, uh, but it is important to change the water every couple of days or top it up every day at least. Um, now, this was something else I had in my garden. Beautiful little sweet William. And it's so sweet, obviously. <laughs> But it was uh, someone I knew put some seeds in the garden or put some little plants in the garden and uh, every year they just come up because it sells seeds and as long as you don't weed them all out, they're just perfect. And this is just giving us some little touches of colour through our design or into our design, should I say. And the Sweet Williams really kind of like related to carnations. So we've got quite a big floral arrangement here. But I still want to put more of this Sweet William into the centre. And you need to just step back and just check, check your flowers how they're sitting in combination with the ones round about them. And don't be afraid to just rearrange them if they need it. Like this big stem that I put in there is really quite dominant, but I quite like that, so I'm going to leave it. And just taking like the Sweet William here and putting it down, this just takes your eye into the arrangement and makes it quite interesting. Now, one thing I wanted to do was maybe just add a couple of pieces of grass. Now, these are the ones that I had left from last year. So, in lockdown, we don't always have everything that we want to hand. Um, and maybe it's the case that we just have to have a wee look and see what else we've got. So, when I thought about this, I thought maybe it's just a little bit off with it being dried, but they're natural materials. They're um, just going to give a contrast of texture and a feeling of lightness. And um, yeah, anything. If I had to say I don't like them, I can almost take them out. But that's maybe the thing, at this time, if you're struggling to get hold of materials, fresh materials, it's maybe worth looking at artificials or dry, even non-flower materials is possible. Um, if you've got that urge to create something, then I would just say go for it. I've even got these lovely palm leaves, uh, and I thought, I had them before, and I thought I'm going to just uh, plait them and let them dry. And we could even put one or two of these in. Now, if you've got dry materials like this and you're really wanting to keep them, if you're very precious about them, 
then um, you're better to put the actual stem onto another stick. So it's the other stick that's in the water and that will allow your material to last a whole lot better. And I definitely don't want to overdo it with non-fresh. This is quite quite in keeping with the trend at the moment for much kind of like a country style. So this is it. This is our simple celebration of spring arrangement using just garden materials. Um, I hope you're all staying safe. I hope you're all uh, making sure that nothing happens to you. And uh, if you get the chance, then now's a good time to maybe think about yourself, make an arrangement for yourself, and just enjoy the flowers that we do have, even if that's just looking at them or enjoying them from a distance. So stay safe, everyone. If you've enjoyed today's video, then click here to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.